hello guys welcome back to life technologies channel and thank you for watching today we'll be doing a quick lab on how to do interface configurations on huawei devices so these are this is one of the basic operations when you are setting up your network you need to know which interfaces you have on the router and when you start configuring there are some details that you need to give for example you need to assign an ip address you need to ensure the port is not shut down and you also need to give clear descriptions to interfaces it's a best practice to give very clear descriptions for the interfaces so that when someone else logs into the router is able to tell which device the peer device that the interface is connected to so when we log into this router r1 how do we check the interfaces that are on this router the command we use is display interface brief this one will tell us which interfaces we have on the router so as you can see we have the interface the interface name for example ethernet 00 up to the serial interfaces then it's giving us the interface status the physical status and the protocol status and then we have the utilization input and output utilization if we have errors on the interface we'll also be able to see the error that are on these interfaces so this one gives us the interfaces that we have on our router if we want to check the status of a single interface we do display interface and then we give the interface which interface is it ethernet is it gigabit so you need to give the slots we can do gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 so this one gives us detail of this interface just one interface but now we have extensive details about this interface you can see the current state the administrative state is up then we have the line protocol current status is down we haven't done any configurations so it will be down the protocol status will be down we don't have any descriptions on this interface then we also have the mtu it's 1500 the default mtu we can check the last physical uptime the status of the interface so if the port is flapping you are able to tell from there last physical uptime and last physical downtime then you can check the input and output the input bandwidth utilization the output bandwidth utilization and even the packets how many packets per second so this one gives us and even if you check here you can see that we have the hardware address the mac address of this interface if we check another interface gig01 we expect the mac address will be different but you can see all the other status we haven't configured everything so they are almost the same so display ip interface brief should be able to tell us if we have ip address assigned and the exact ip address that is assigned on any interface on this router as you can see the ip address and mask is not assigned on any of these interfaces so the status in this field ip address slash mask is unassigned so how do we configure an interface of course we need first to go to the configuration view we are now in the global configuration view but we are doing configuration on a given interface so let me just move this one so that we are able to see the parameter that we need to configure so the first step is to go into the global configuration view once we are in the global configuration view we need to go into the interface configuration view so we specify the interface that we need to configure we are configuring interface gig 00 that is connecting to router 2 so we go into this interface we can display this command display this it will tell us that we don't have any configurations on this interface so the first thing we can do is to provide a description for this interface how do we provide description we have a command on huawei description then you need to give a text and it's specifying that no more than 242 characters so our description should be 
clear enough so that anyone who is logging in later can tell that this interface is connecting to router 2. Gig 0 slice 0 slice 0. So this one tells us that we are connecting to router 2 at the port that we are connected to router 2. So now if we display this, we have the description on this interface. If it's on a real network or a real router, not in a simulation environment, you need to run the commit command. But it's in a lab simulation and on this router we don't have the commit command. So once you apply the command, it will take effect. So we have a description. So the next thing that we can do is maybe the interface is shut down. So there is the command shutdown. This one shuts down the interface. If we were now to display this, you can see even on the topology, the interface is down. So by any chance, if the interface is shut down, you need to do the undo shutdown command. Then the interface will be up. How do you assign an IP address? It's very easy. You can you run the command IP address. Then if you use a question mark, it will tell you that we need to assign an IP address in this format. So the IP address here is 172.168.200. We give this 1.1. One one. And the mask, you can either give win. For example, you just provide the length of the IP address mask or you can give the in the format of uh, 255 like the normal format will be this is a slash 24 so it will be 255.255.255.0 so this one will be a slash 24 or so if we now display this command show that we have a description on this interface and we also have an IP address on this interface. We can remove the IP address using the undo IP address command and we have removed the IP address configuration. If I display this again, I don't have IP address configuration. So we can do the IP address configuration again and at this time .200.1 this time what I will do is I will give the length of the IP address mask. I give 24. So this is allowed. If I do this and display this, but on the display you can see it's still giving us 255.255.255.0. So this is just how you first assigning the description. You use the description command and then you provide the string, the text that you want to use as the description. Then IP address you give the IP address and the mask. So now if I do display interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 you can see the administrative state is up the line protocol is also up because we have, sign, we have assigned an IP address on that interface. You can see the description. We haven't changed the MTU, so our MTU is still 1500. The interface, the IP address, the internet address that we have assigned, the IP address, you can see it here, 172.168.200.1. And many other, the other details remain the same because we haven't done any changes on the in the on other configuration like there is no traffic that is flowing so this one is still zero percent input and output traffic so now if we do display ip interface brief we expect that gig 000 has an ip address assigned and you can see it's the ip address that we have configured 172 slash 24. the other interfaces have no IP address assigned, so it's still unassigned. So if we go back to interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we end a question mark, we can see that all these are different parameters that we can configure under the interface. We can configure MTU. And 
then we need to provide MTU value from 46 to 16,000. So I can do an MTU of 9K. So if I do display interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0, I expect the MTU now to be 9,000. So I've changed the MTU, the maximum to admit unit from the default 1500 to 9000 and under these interfaces you can do other configurations like you need to enable protocols maybe ISIS or SPF MPLS but yeah this lab was just a, a quick lab on how to do interface configurations the last thing that we can look at is how to configure a logical interface for example you need to create a loopback interface on this router how do you go about it so for loopback interfaces same way we've done for the interface gig 00 you need to specify interface then i can run loopback if you enter question mark tells you that you can create in total 1024 loopback interfaces 0 to 1023 so you can create 1024 loopback interfaces on this router so this one will just create loopback 0 we now have loopback 0 and i assign an ip address this is 1.1.1.1 .1 .1. i will use the length 32 so if i do display interface brief i now have loopback 0 created if I display IP interface brief, I now have an IP address here for loopback zero. Sometimes if you just display interface, this one gives you all the details for all the interfaces, but it will not be easy checking. If you are looking for a given interface, it's better you just display that specific interface instead of displaying all the interface and starting to search or scrolling up and down as you try to find the interface that you are looking for. So I can also display the current configuration on a given interface. I can display current configuration interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. This one will give me only the configurations on this interface. I can do the same for loopback 0 using a similar command. I just change loopback zero and then it gives me the output of the configuration that are configured on loopback zero only so these are just some basic operation or basic configuration that you need to do on an interface configuring the mtu configuring an ip address giving interface description shutting down an interface and even checking the interface status so Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos on networking. Thank you.